So my reflections on the plan are firstly that it's great news that the NHS has uh, to, is to receive £20.5 billion uh, pounds extra by 2023. That's a significant investment compared to the rest of the public sector that's received cuts. What do we get for the money? Uh, it's a bold and comprehensive plan. It's ambitious, as it quite rightly should be. And there's a lot in there about prevention, avoiding uh, inequalities in health, uh, trying to help people stay better for longer at home and uh, healthier. There's some uh, significant action on some of the big killer diseases, cancer, heart disease, stroke, but also some very pleasing new developments in maternity care towards safety of, of maternal health um, and also babies uh, and uh, also mental health as well. The challenging bit uh, will be um, can the NHS deliver and there there are some formidable challenges ahead. The most significant obstacle to this plan is not actually the money, it's more the staff in that there are 100,000 staff shortages in the NHS at the moment. Uh, that's one in 11 staff. And then, of course, there are worries about the funding for public health, which has been cut by a quarter per head in the last three years, um, and a social care settlement, which, of which there's no um, sight of that yet. So I think a lot of challenges, but a bold and ambitious plan, and it's uh, to be welcomed.